ओके रेस्टोरेंट थ्रीज दैट दैट इज़ द फर्स्ट आइडिया दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड टू चेक वेदर वेदर द रेस्टोरेंट आर इन थ्रीज सी वेदर द सेम करंट इज़ पासिंग थ्रू ऑल ऑफ़ देम ओके ठीक है सो द करंट थ्रू ऑल द रेस्टोरेंट आर द सेम आर वन आर टू आर थ्री आर इन थ्रीज इक्विवेलेंट रेस्टोरेंट्स का फंडामेंटल इन � That gives us R is equal to R one plus R two plus R three. What does it mean? It means that if these resistors are R one is equal to five ohms, R two is equal to ten ohms, R three is equal to two ohms, or yeah, three ohms, then you can replace it by by a single resistor having resistance. Five plus ten plus three, which is equal to eighteen ohms. Do we get that? Which is equal to eighteen ohms. If it is replaced. Now we come to resistors in parallel. We come to resistors in parallel. Now resistors are said to be in parallel. In parallel, if the if the potential difference across all the resistors remains the same. Now what happens is this. What happens? This is A. This point is B. I have said through the ammeter or through the through the connecting wires. The connecting wires are assumed to be having a resistance of zero. The connecting wires have no resistance. So wherever it moves through a zero resistance. You actually have a a here, so a here, a here, a here. Since a is here, a is also here, and a is also here, and a is also here. You come to this B B, and B. This is A, and B is here, and B is here, and B is here. What do we see? All these three resistors have. The A end of this connected across them, and B end connected across the uh, connected at the other end. Do we see that? What does it mean? It means that it means that it means that this this has the same potential as this, which has the same potential as this across them. Do we get that? Similarly, R is again the equivalent resistance, which implies that equivalent resistance, which implies replacing replacing a system of resistors by a simple uh, by a by a single resistor, and and we have. 
happen to place m meter here and m meter here and an m meter here and we see that this current if it is i and these currents are i1 i2 i3 then in the experiment it is seen that the current i whatever current enters here is equal to the current that leaves the junction this is a junction okay this is a junction so whatever current enters it the same current leaves it the same current leaves it why because if it does not leave if it does not leave it means there is a storage of electrons here there is a pile up what happens at a traffic traffic intersection is something like this traffic is coming like this if whatever comes in the total number of cars going out is not the same then there will be a pile up here there will be a traffic jam at the intersection do we get that do we get that so here if the incoming number of cars is not the same as outgoing then there will be a jam we understand okay so the same thing is happening here the same thing is happening here so i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 and what is i1 the this potential is v right so by by kirchhoff's law kirchhoff's law says kirchhoff's law says what v upon r is equal to i the potential here is the same as this that is v so v upon r1 plus v upon r2 plus v upon r3 is equal to i right and in this case again the potential is v so so here so here so here i is equal to v by r now what happens comparing 1 and 2 what do you get comparing 1 and 2 what do we get we get that v by r is equal to v by r1 plus v by r2 plus v by r3 and what does that mean v here is a common thing So one upon 